Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the hottest new manufacturer of RVs and their hottest new toy hauler. This one is not the prototype. This one is actually the production unit that you would be receiving if you bought one of these. This is the 2024 Brinkley Model G floor plan is the 3500. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Model G and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be bringing you guys the Brinkley Model G, the actual unit you would be buying. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going? It's going good guys. I'm so excited because again, like Matt said, this is the production unit. So yes. last time there were some things that were missing I'll say and not missing like necessarily in a bad way. They were just, you know, going from one to the next to the next, tuning it in and making it the best coach that they could. And now, based um, off of everybody's feedback, yeah, by the based way, based off of everybody's feedback, and now they've taken all that and they have built the production coach, which is this. And these were selling like crazy at the Tampa show that we just got done with. Yes. And so I, I really think they're going to be popular. Yes. And well, there is something that I want to say. The two largest RV shows in the entire country is the Hershey RV Show and the Tampa Summer or the uh, Florida Super. Tampa Super Show in January. Both shows, they're both tied for the biggest RV shows in the entire country. Yes. And we represent Brinkley at both of them. Yes. Nobody sells a Brinkley for a better price than what That's we That's right. Will. Let's begin. All right. Model is 3,500 Model G. The actual tip, tip length of this fifth wheel is 40 feet, two inches. The dry weight is 16,660 pounds. The hitch weight is 3,320 pounds. It's pretty With heavy. It's a big beast. Yeah. You need a 3,500. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Just get a 3,500. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Better safe than sorry. Right. Right up front here, well, I love the design of the Brinkley. It is new. It is different. It is such a modern looking design. You got the black front cap. Looks really nice. This is what it's actually looking like now with the little uh, embroideries right yeah. there. You got the mountains right there. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. I don't and know. Right here, you can see the B. It's Brinkley. It's awesome. It's the molded front cap. And I even like how they put the 3500 there. Yeah. The black on black looks good. It does. Right here, Will, is the optional Gen Y hitch. This is a gooseneck hitch. Right. So you can actually get this from the factory with this. Right. Or you can get the traditional one. But I, I believe everybody's just going with this, right? Yeah, I thought they were actually doing the Gen Y standard, but maybe maybe it is an option. Well, I saw it on the option okay. sheet. Okay. But maybe it's it's a different one or an upgraded one. Here's what I know. We're 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 getting them all with this Gen Y yeah. hitch. You know what I'm saying? Coming on down here, we do have very, very nice storage. Yeah, that's Will, awesome. I love how it all connects through. Right. Holy smokes, that's nice. Well, we reviewed this and it's still like the first time. I know. You know what I'm saying? It's so different from anything else. Yes. Look, this is actually one of the earlier ones because you can see VIN number 00008. Yes. So. Well, I mean, this was, this is a customer's unit. Oh, okay. They and, bought. Yeah. And uh, it does have the bigger axles and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but again, it's now in production. Right. So again, very cool that the VINs start at zero. Yep. And then right here, well, this does have the flex power generator, 5,500i. And then um, this has the lithium batteries right there. Looks like 200 amp hours. Yep, and the uh, reservoir right there for your six point hydraulic auto leveling. Yep. Also, just so everybody knows, we're gonna link we're gonna link something like I might take the option sheet and link it down in the YouTube description below. Okay. I might link General's website down in the description below. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna link it so everybody knows and has access to the option sheet, okay. so they can know what's standard yeah. and what's optional. Now, with that generator, do you know what's cool about that? It's so no, that, I do not. That's the flex generator, like you said, 
And what they mean by that is it does work off of propane or gas. What? Yeah, so obviously it's a toy hauler. You're gonna have your gas tank, which I'll show you later. Um, it can run off of that. Or if you run out of gas or you prefer to use propane, I prefer to use propane because it burns cleaner. It's better for the generator. You can do that as well. That's awesome, Will. Yep. And then right over here, we do have the Furion side camera marker lights. I absolutely love how Brinkley's giving this to you. Yeah, you know for sure. Uh, coming on down, look at these awesome windows. Well, these windows are made by Lippert. You know we love Lippert. Yeah. And they're squared off. Right. This is so futuristic looking. It's so modern looking. I love how they're using the, they're calling it the Model G, kind of like the Tesla, and how Tesla was so modern in the car industry. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing. Very nice power awning. And then look at the LED light under it. Again, right. different, unique. And there is a power awning on that slide out as well. Okay. Coming on right here, you do have propane tank. Okay. You can see your six point hydraulic auto leveling. And you could upgrade those propane tanks as well Very if you wanted nice. something bigger. Over here, that other side of that huge storage well. Aluminum framing. Oh, and you can close it off. Oh, nice. Very nice. Look at all these light switches here. Yep. I think What's that's that? your slide. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sound system right there and an outdoor shower right there. Very nice. Even a little USB right there. Okay. Uh, you do have holes there, so you can keep this closed if you do want to use some of that. This opens as well. Yeah, open it up, Will. Show us what we got going on. So all your um, electronic controls and everything on that side. And then here I believe it's just, uh, oh, okay. So more, it's a lot more really, more electrical, your HVAC. You can even see some of your plumbing stuff. These doors actually completely come out. You just lift them up and pull them. Nice. So there you go. Yeah, and that sound system's absolutely amazing. It is, yeah. They kept playing it at the show. Yes. And then right here, Will, Nice little more ride tray. And very awesome slide out tray. Just for a little bit of additional storage, Will. Do you know what you, that is? You can literally never have enough. Hold that. Oh man. Heck yeah, for your cold beer. That's America. right. America. Your Love cold that. beer when you're driving down the road. Right, that means <laughs> you don't need to put the slide outs out to get to the fridge. You can just put one right there. All right. Don't do that, America. That was but a joke. That was, <laughs> that was a joke. Um, but that's actually very cool to have that there. All right. That would actually be good to put like our dogs eat raw. Yeah. And so, you know, you could put their frozen food in there instead of um instead of taking up space on the fridge. Yeah. Okay, coming over here, well, nice fold up steps. <laughs> Love that. Yep. Touch pad for the doors. Warranty for full-time RVing right there and we'll come right here. Okay. Guys, if you want to learn more about Brinkley, the 3500G, pause the video and take your cell phone and scan that there so you can learn absolutely everything from the factory, Will. Cool. Again, another awning coming on down. Look at these tires, Will. They're the Coopers. I love those. These are the 215-75R. 17.5 these are the best tires i love the brinkley rims the cre 3000 suspension and notice how it's triple axle right the prototype was two axles and it was just too heavy for that you know what yep. i'm saying they readjusted they figured it out and now it's triple axle i love this and i believe you are able to upgrade the axles if you wanted to yep very nice coming on down here well fold up steps womp womp but they're the aluminum tread, which is so much better right. than the traditional black steps. Not only that, I'm not even mad about this because you don't even want the fold up steps in your garage. Right, area. it's a garage space. And another very nice power awning with LED lights. So three awnings. And then right here, Will, uh, is the vent for the garage. The garage. Like the fumes area. and all that. Yep. Yes, sir. Coming around the back, Will, we do have a nice patio door. Look at the way it looks. Brinkley Model G. You got the mountains right there. Another, Will, four awnings with LED it's lights. crazy. The Furion backup camera there. This does also drop down and make a patio area. We set that up on the other Model G video. If you really want to see that, check out that video as well. Do you know what the five mountains are? No, I do not. Each mountain represents one of the five owners. Oh, there you go. Brinkley. There you go. Right here, Will, uh, also really nice tail light design. There you go. 
And then right over here, Will, is your fuel and air compressor. Very okay. nice. Right there, that's where you dump your tanks. Okay. And then coming on down, there's the other place where you dump your tank. Okay. Very nice. Very good instant hot tankless water heater right there. Right here, we have another slide out tray. Look at this 50 amp power cord with an electric reel that's option. Cool. Love that. Over here. Very nice wet bay. This is where you actually dump your black and gray tank. It's all push button. Right here's your city water fill, black tank flush, fresh water hose. Everything that you want is super nice. Here's where you can control your auto leveling. This side actually opens up as well to give you a lot more passage right. storage. Very, very nice stuff going on here. And again, another slide out tray. Okay. Very cool. Very cool, Will. And then to wrap it all up, we have another propane tank right there. Nice. Well, Will, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great. It's amazing. But the inside, believe it or not, looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Very nice. Before you go on the inside, Will. Yeah. Uh, look at this awesome Lippert screen defender for dogs. Nice. The slingshot and the screen assist. I absolutely love that. Okay. Check out the inside. All right, starting up front in the bedroom. Right here. Right behind that is the bathroom right here. Get these lights turned on. Coming down is the kitchen, living area. And all the way in the back is that garage. Nice. And well, before we begin, we're actually gonna start with the front first. Okay. Mix it up a little bit. But first, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Great, we're back, Will. And let me be the first to say, happy Father's Day tomorrow to everybody. All right. You know, all, to all the fathers out there and influential men in the community, maybe they don't have kids, Will, right. but they're still good role models for the community and the youth. Happy Father's Day to everybody above you know there what i'm saying go. okay well we are starting up front here okay okay very nice master bedroom area okay well you know why i'm starting up here why because the ac's blowing it's feels hot outside great. but it feels fantastic yeah right over there we got some storage okay beautiful well toy haulers are notorious for being manly there's yeah. no other way of saying it yeah this is beautifully designed it is you got two side windows you have that top window there you have some very nice light fixtures there and look at the interior color and decor choices that right. they chose for this it looks great underneath here no a little bit of little storage bit of back storage, there yeah and then right here we have very nice drawers and drawers okay notice the cabinet color with the nice gold fixtures there. You can see right, right here on the right. dresser. It's just a beautiful design unit. Right here, Will, look at these screens. Okay. Very nice. You know, guys, we're gonna talk about it. 
Will said this is gonna be one of his dislikes, a little spoiler alert. Yeah. I actually like it. Do you? To each their own. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Nice TV right here on the outside. And then look at this dresser drawer. You got a little bit of secret storage there. Okay. Nice. Nice storage there. You can really tell with the cabinetry, you got the yeah. dovetail action. This is very nice cabinetry and it is all real hardwood. Okay. Nice, Will, nice. Over here, I mean, look at this. Utilizing every square inch of this unit. Yes, for sure. Very nice. And Will, that's an access hole. Is this prep for the- uh, Stackable. Stackable washer dryer? Sure is. Very nice. A lot of times toy haulers don't wash the dryers in the rear. Yeah. Okay. Right here we have nice more storage right here. Okay. Hanging coat rail. And then here you can see the bench style seats right there, Will. Okay. That is for the kitchen bar area. Cool. Very nice. Behind this door too, you have like little coat hooks right there. Okay. And then this door is held open with that magnet there i love it well it just makes sense yeah let's check out the shower okay going on into the bathroom nice one piece fiberglass shower um you got plenty of head space here they put the skylight in the right place i like the more residential looking shower yes. setup pretty good width and depth it's not the biggest but again in toy holders it's not customary to necessarily have huge showers. This definitely passes, bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Sure is. Not only that, well, right here we have a uh, little mirror medicine cabinet. Okay. All right, there it is. Very nice solid surface countertops in this bathroom area. Nice little sink. Okay. Storage underneath there. Nice. Not bad. Very nice storage here. Okay. Okay. Not bad at all, and if you come on out, we actually have a huge amount of storage. Check this right. out. I'll do this lower one first. Oh, hey, that's a hundred fifty-six dollar trash can. Right. Nice. And then this. Wow. Look at this. That's adjustable cool. shelving in the bathroom. This is huge. And look at this, Will. That's huge too. Liquefied. This is our brand of black tank chemical. Will. Yeah. The pots are coming out here extremely you. soon. Not only do we have it in liquid form, you can now get it in tablet pod form. Right. Thank you to everybody who's been buying Liquify. It truthfully is the best brand of black tank chemical. Well, you can get that at primepoopingposition.com or on Amazon. Yep. Right here, little hangers, nice Max Air fan. Okay. You have your toilet paper holder there. And that is on a magnet as well. Okay. Porcelain. Well, this is not a prime pooping position. Really? Psych. Oh, okay. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! I was this, looking, I'm like, This is a very good. nice bathroom, okay. well. Not only that, you got this nice pocket door right yeah. here. Yeah. You have another window right there. And I and I love just like the framing around it. It's yeah. just give us, giving it like a classier look and touch. Right. Well, we're so excited to see this kitchen. Okay. All right, we'll start right here. Great cabinet space up top here. Yes. And all these shelves are adjustable. Okay, so you want nice. a little more room underneath, you pop it up a level or two, and there you go. Just like that. Yeah, super easy. Everything's soft closed. And like I said, all these cabinets are real uh, wood. I love the uh, finishes as well. Storage space up here, kind of like a crown molding up top. You got your silverware storage here or whatever you can fit in there yes and then you also have wow a knife holder here so this is a magnet. oh very yeah. cool so that's a magnet you can store them in there nice backsplash here i like how it covers every bit of the backsplash yes this is kind of a little coffee bar taco area kitchen prep area nice extension faucet and these all match all these fixtures and everything match. yes with the handles and everything yep a nice big single bowl sink and that sink is black so i love like the contrast against the gold and the white storage right there yes sir in here wow and then you got a couple drawers here hang on open that up again which one Th that second one that's everything that you're getting guys yeah okay 
And then the third one too. Okay. I think there was something else in there. There is yep. that. Travel five. There's nothing at the bottom one, but we'll open it still. Yeah. A little bit of storage here. All your breakers and fuses. Then this kitchen island is awesome. There's no sink or anything, so you have really good prep space here. Tons of countertop space, but if it wasn't enough, Hang on, Will, I gotta say something first. Okay. They made a change here. They did. Okay, so last time, it was like squared off, yeah, right? Yeah, it was more of a waterfall style. Yeah, like we, we called it a waterfall. Mm -hmm. People gave us people gave us crap about it, Will. But see, obviously, they added this very noticeable hinge. It actually kind of looks ugly, but at least you can tell now yeah. that it flips up. So this flips up, it is on a strut, so it's not super heavy. And it can hold itself, but they also have this little thing. Hopefully you can see it. This little extension here. Yep, just a nice little lip. And then it's nice and solid. Bada bing, bada boom, just like right. that. And then, like, now look at how much countertop space you have. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. Over here, nice cutting board here. This does come out. Cutting board holder, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to mess up that nice cabinetry. Right. Come on. Come on, Will. Fits like a glove. Come on, OJ. All right. <laughs> huh. Uh, there's screws back there, so I gotta get over the screws. There we go. There you go, just like that. Wow. Drawers here. Yes. And then, like, this will... Yeah, drawers and drawers. Drawers and drawers. Yep. Hey! That's two $156 trash cans. Sure is. You got this. Nice big towel holder. Yeah. Oh, you want this? Oh, yeah. We will look at that. Perfect. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Man, I'm struggling today. There we go. A little more storage there with drawers inside of cabinets. And then behind me, we got storage up top here. Wow. Nice GE refrigerator right there. Wow. Very nice. Freezer underneath. Right there, and with uh, two different levels. Over here, nice GE, or storage above the nice GE microwave right here, yep. which is a convection microwave. Yes. Three burner fury on cooktop. I love the more residential look. Right. A little bit of space for your sp spoons and cooking utensils. Yes, sir. Nice big oven right there. So nice. Is this a drawer? Yes, yes it is. There you go. Plus floor slide as well. Yes, and then all your spices and everything can go right in there. Man. And as if we haven't shown you enough storage, you also have this wow. awesome storage. Wow, 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 Will. Again, with the adjustable shelves, you got drawers here. Looks really, really nice. It sure does, Will. So nice, people are ready for it. Well, yeah. wait, and one thing you didn't even mention. I know, this beautiful light, it looks great. Yes. Will, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And Will, this one does have the 8K, 8K axles, axles with, with hydraulic, hydraulic brakes. Disc brakes. That's cool. Yeah. Also, this has the dual pane windows as the option. Okay. Um, You know, a lot of good stuff. The um, generator as the option. Uh, So MSRP, on this unit here, well, is one hundred ninety-five thousand two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Okay. Well, that is MSRP. Now you can get it without the upgraded options for an MSRP of one eighty-six four seventy-three. Obviously, well, the MSRPs are going to range. Yeah. You know, in between there, um, there might be more options, and it might be above one ninety-five. Right. It, with all RVs, it depends on what options you get. And you know what the sale price is? What? Do you know I, it? I don't know it. I don't know it either. You know why, Will? Because this is a current model year and Brinkley won't allow us to advertise sale price, not on the YouTube video anyway, but here's what we do do. Will, if people don't know, we are partnered with General RV and we sell these nationwide at all 14 of yes. our dealerships. We represent it at the Hershey RV show and the Tampa RV show, two of the biggest RV shows in the entire country. So we are going to get everybody the absolute best price in America on a Model G or a Model Z or whatever. So if you're interested in this unit, all you have to do is to go to generalrv.com slash matscash, fill out that contact form. A member of my team is gonna reach out to you and get you guys the absolute best price in America. 
And if you can't find that link in the YouTube description below, go to MattsRVReviews.com or call the number you see on the screen, Will, 844-969-4033. If you guys are looking to buy a Brinkley and you're not reaching out to somebody from our team, you're just paying too much. You're making a mistake. Making it, Will, we can lead a horse to water, but we can't make him drink. That's you know what right. I'm saying? Will, let's continue this video. Okay. Coming on over here to this entertainment center, this is something that I'm super excited about. Right here we have a nice little mantle, okay? Right here we have a TV. Yep. Yep. Dislike number one on the prototype was there was no fireplace. Right. This was a little plane. Yeah. You know what they did? Added a fireplace. They heard us. They added it, but they did something even better. Not only did they added it, they called, they said checkmate. Right. They said, Matt, you don't know what you're talking about because we're going to add a fireplace, but we're going to see your fireplace and raise you this. So first fireplace. Yeah. And then they raised us with this hidden storage here. Right. And Sir William. Hidden storage up here as well. Will, would you look at that? Fantastic. That is pretty cool. They called and raised. Yeah. And they went all in. I love that. Well, we're gonna now need to find some some new distance. I know, you know I hear you. Love the fireplace, love that addition right there. Super nice. Right over here, Will, love all the windows. Looks great, feels great. And then look at the sofa here. Yeah. The Thomas Paine collection. I love how this isn't your normal everyday sofa theater seat. Right. Right here, they do all recline, all four of them do. It does not do the fold down thing. Okay. Really nice. On the end, they do heat and they are massaged and then there is USB in both of them. Okay. And then look at what we got going on the side here. A little bit of storage there. Yep. So power and USB. There is not. There's not? Not in the front. There is there though. There it is, Will. Power, USB and USB-C. Yes, sir. And a little bit more storage there. Cool. Why does somebody want to buy a Model G, Will? Model G for the garage. Exactly. Because yeah. the toy hauler space. Just so everybody knows, this is a... I actually don't even know the size know. of this garage. I think it's a... Isn't it's a it 12? like a 12 or yeah. a 13? I think it's a 12. Okay. Jen, bing! Please put the garage size there. So sorry about that. But you can order this with the bigger garage. Right which is the model 4000. 4, so this model 3500, the model 4000, and I believe off of base MSRP, it was like $5,086 yeah. or something okay. like that. So not much more expensive. And from my understanding, again, talk to one of our salespeople, but from my understanding, from here up is the same exact thing on the yeah. 4000. It's just you're getting that bigger garage. Right, area. right. Right here in this garage area, we have the nice flooring you got a place for you to store your tools. We have these nice four season doors right here. Will, did this person? Oh yes, still comes with the Morai patio area. And you do have steps for the outside for your patio. Okay. That's what I love, Will, this tracking here. Yeah. It does, the rubber does come out and you can lock it to like a hundred different right, places and right. everything. And then we do have this, which oh. you hold this down. Okay. And then right there, we got the TV. Yeah, hold that down, Will. We got the TV right there. And, and flip down a little. Yeah, and there's a loft area. And yes, this TV does angle down some so you can see it. While Will's doing that, he's getting this down for us. Uh, at the same time, I want to show everybody this half bathroom. Very nice storage. Nice sink in here, still solid surface. A little bit of storage right there and there. Another porcelain toilet. This is also a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Will, you never get that in the half bath. Right. Earlier, you also mentioned um, the, the washer and dryers, usually in the garage. You can put it in the garage here. Okay, so, good, good. So this is prep for it. But this way, you have both options. If the garage space is more important, then you put it up there and vice versa. Vice versa. Easy breezy. Yeah. Just like that, Will, the Happy Jack bed is down. You got bunk over bunk. And here's what I love, how long it is. Yeah. Your NBA player friends can actually come with you and have a place to sleep. And something else that's so unique about toy haulers, I call it like the Swiss Army knife yep. because it's so multi-purpose. So 
Notice how most toy haulers don't have dinettes. Yeah. Well, right here you have this. You set up a table, and now you have a dinette. There you go. And you can make it so this top bed does stay up. Right, right. For more head height. But I love this. It's so nice. And then it go it goes all the way up, so you can bring your toys, your golf carts, your whatever you want. There here. you go. Just, just fantastic. Yeah. And we'll wrap it all up to this garage area. You do have a beautiful glass door right there. Yep. And it does stay connected with a magnet as well. Okay. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? You want to do dislikes first? I do. Okay. You go first. Okay. So for me, you kind of spoiled it earlier. I did. I, I personally am not a big fan of these shades. Okay. I like, you know, the idea. Oh, do these not do the two way? Uh, that one probably doesn't for some reason. Okay, reason being, I just feel like these are very cheap, flimsy, and they remind me more, honestly, of an entry-level travel trailer. Okay, and so what you're saying is you'd rather have the slow-rise shades? I'd rather have the slow-rise, daytime and night shades, and something that's, you know, quality. I hear you, Will. With that said, you know, I'm not going to veto it. Yeah. I actually do like the shades. And, you know, that's what I love about RV reviews. Right. It's just your opinion. It is. Your opinion don't matter to nobody, Will. Right. Except your own pocketbook. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? That is dislike number one. Will, dislike number two. It was something in here. Was it here? Yes, it was. Will, I do not like this um, right. medicine cabinet. I said it last time. I'll say it again. And kind of like to what Will's saying, this is a high-end unit, guys. It feels a little cheap. It's a high-end toy hauler. It does feel a little cheap. Uh, just having this there and again, it's like it's almost like a compliment though with how well they designed yeah. the uh, interior and everything Yeah, that's just for me. That's just gonna be dislike number two and then well, we need a dislike number third I know and I had something did you well We just spent the last 20 minutes going over this thing tip to tip right trying to nitpick right trying to find something and it actually really makes me mad because I hate not finding something. Right. And I even watched our last year or our last time video. And like this, like number three, you said was like this step right here. Um, but I feel like they fixed that as well. You know, because yeah, I, like, I think the first time I almost like tripped over it. Right, exactly. And I didn't this time. And again, they fixed the fireplace, and it's just like when you fix our dislikes, and it's so hard to find dislikes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Especially on this unit. And so I'm gonna say something that I've never quite said before, and it might come across the wrong way, but I don't want it to come across the wrong way. Dislike number three, Will, is going to be the price of this unit. Right. MSRP. Now, hang on a second. What I mean is, this is a $195,000 fifth wheel. Yeah. MSRP. Obviously, we're gonna sell it at a little bit of a discounted price. Yeah. But, the one thing, the number one question so wait, that's just like number three, okay? Now it's time for three things we like about it. Right. Okay? Like number one, the number one thing that people always ask me at shows, at Wawa, at the dealership every time is why don't they make it this way? X, Y, and Z. Why aren't they good quality? Why aren't they built like this? Will? Introducing the freaking Brinkley. Right. Introducing the Model G. It's built that way. It is built the way that you want it at home. Yeah. Good quality. Yeah. Congratulations. Here it is. Yeah. Again, dislike number three, you're paying for that quality. Right. No different than the DRVs or the Luxes or whatever. That's what this is. That's the level the quality standard that they set for the Model G. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Brinkley. Um, now, just to clarify, it doesn't mean you're never going to have any issues. Right? right. It's an RV. It's still going down the road. But people always ask for, you know, real wood. Yes. You know, higher end furniture. Flush floor. Flush floor. You know, yeah. All of those features that you're seeing in your nicer interiors. Beautiful interior. The better cabinets with like more residential. All that stuff costs money. Um, so, but again, it's what 
truthfully, it's what a lot of people have been asking for. It just costs, you know? And let me tell you something. There's nothing more that I dislike yeah. than not having a third dislike. Yeah. But again, I mean, that is a true third dislike. Right. And There's that's what we were talking about off camera was like, like truthfully, that is the downside to this trailer. You know what I mean? It's, it is expensive. There's a lot of people who want a fifth wheel toy hauler at 99 or 109, 129, you know? It's probably not going to be this. You know? No, it's, it's definitely, definitely not well, going to be this. It's definitely not going to be so. this. But uh, that's like number one is the fact that you're buying one of the absolute best quality fifth yeah. wheels. Not only quality, but the beauty as well. And it's kind of like a good dislike right, at the same exactly, time. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Again, well, I'm trying to stay true to my roots. Yeah. And uh, I mean, they, they got us this time. Brinkley got us this time. That's number one. Well, like number two for me is going to be this kitchen area. For sure. I love the waterfall, the peninsula. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love this pantry space here. I love how it locks in the adjustable shelves, the backsplash, the cabinet colors, the fixtures. The lights. The light. Well, it's hard to, one, we're already impressed with Brinkley, but to see this color scheme as well in the toy hauler, very, yeah. very nice. That's number two. Will, give us a like number three. Like number three for me is going to be the furniture. I love this color. I'll, I'm going to say the colors overall in here. You know, the kind of light grayish beige, the um, kind of like rustic brown furniture. And even in the garage, like that um, sofa, dinette, bed area. Yeah, it just looks good. It looks really good. It looks comfortable and it looks like nothing else out there. You know? Well, I'm going to do a final combo okay. with that storage on the outside. Uh -huh. With the way it opens, the fridge, guys, the the five mountains of Brinkley. Yeah, that's a lot of years in the RV industry. Yep. And the RV industry, it's you make RVs one of two ways. Mm -hmm. The way ninety percent of the RV industry does is give us the best looking unit at the best possible price, and then there's the Brinkley way, as we're just going to give you the best unit. Mm -hmm. We apologize for the price, but if you want the best. You know what to do. That's right. The Five Mountains, baby. There you go. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in learning more about Brinkley or buying a Brinkley, Model G or Model Z, reach out to somebody from my team at General RV. Again, we represent them at Hershey. Come and say hi. We represent them at the Tampa Super Show. Come and say hi, guys. Nobody's going to give you an absolute better price than us. I can promise you that. So go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Send you to a member of my team. It doesn't matter where you live nationwide. We will get you the best price in America. That's right. Will, what do you got to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, it's always cool seeing what's new and upcoming, and I'm glad to see the little finishes that Brinkley has put on this to make it the best fifth wheel toy hauler that they can. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Uh, Brinkley is watching, and they will see the comments. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. And Brinkley, don't fix the medicine cabinets. Right. Or or the window shades because that's like our number ones and twos now. Yeah. We <laughs> the, need you to mess one more thing. Right, up. take take the fireplace away yeah. so we can use that as our just like again. Right. Thank you, absolutely everybody so much yeah. for watching and we'll we'll see you next time. Bye.